Hey guys, this is Tai Tai with Game Grid, and I'm going to be cracking open a booster box of Aether Revolt today. So let's get cracking. Cracking through this wizard's wrapping right now. It's Thursday today, I'm cracking this open for our store. So we can have all the singles when it releases. Boy, oh boy, does this feel good. Alright. So, hopefully we get an invention. That would be sweet. First booster box. Alright. So, we're just going to go through the comments. I'm not going to go and read through them. And then, we're going we're gonna to go through pretty quick. Just because it would take forever if I went through every single common in this set. And as we get to the uncommons, I will read them off. So we got Gaunties. Machinations? I don't even know how to say that. Sorry. Uh, so that is an enchantment uncommon. And then we got Hidden Stockpile. It has Revolt, and at the beginning of your end step... If a permanent you control left the battlefield this turn, create a 1 1 colorless servo artifact creature token. Pay one, sacrifice a creature, and scry one. So it's a pretty good enchantment if you want to go through your deck. We have Enraged Giant. Uh, it's a 6 mana for a 4 4 with improvise. And then for our rare, we have Walking Ballista. So that looks like a pretty sweet card. Walking uh, Walking Ballista enters the battlefield with X-1-1 one, one counters on it. And 4 mana, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Walking Ballista. And remove a 1-1 one, one counter from Walking Ballista. It deals 1 damage to target creature or player. So that seems pretty good. And we got a land, and no foil, and an energy token. Alright, so we're going to have to crack through these a little bit faster. We're probably just going to stick to the uncommons real fast. So let's go ahead and go through these. Um, I'll just go through one by one really fast so you guys can see through all the cards. Uh, two of those. We have Narnam Renegade. There's a one mana, one two with Death Touch and Revolt. And we have Sly... Requisitioner, and it has Improvise, and it's a 2-2 for 5 mana, and whenever a non-token artifact uh, you control is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one col colorless servo artifact creature token. And we have Ridge Scale Tusker, it's a 5 mana 5-5, five five. when it enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 one, one counter on each other creature you control. This is an insane arena pick. It's a bomb. And for our where we got Consulate Crackdown. So it's a 5 mana enchantment. Double white, 3 colorless. And when Consulate Crackdown enters the battlefield, exile all artifacts your opponents control until Consulate Crackdown leaves the battlefield. So it's a good way to deal with stuff. And no foils in this pack either. Alright. We have Shipwreck Moray. I think that was in front of two of our packs now, maybe even three. Alright, so for our first uncommon, we have Narnam Renegade again. And we have Winding Constrictor. It's a two mana, it's black and a green. It's a 2-3 snake, and if one or more counters would be placed on an artifact or creature you control, that many of those counters plus one are placed on that permanent instead. If you would get one or more counters, you get that many of the counters plus one instead. So it's pretty good. And we have Reverse Engineer. It's a five mana improvised sorcery, and it draws three cards. And for our rare, we have uh, Merchant's Dockhand. So it's an artifact creature. It's a one mana, one two, and it's 
three and a blue tap and then it's tap x untapped artifacts you control look at the top x cards of your library put one of them on into your hand and the rest at the bottom of your library in any order so it seems pretty good and then we got no foils in this pack and moving on to the next pack We got Bastion Enforcer for the first common. We're just gonna go through these quickly. I think that this card is going to be huge in Arena. Or in Arena, sorry. Thinking about uh, Hearthstone right now in Draft. Um, that card's pretty good. Alright, we're just trying to get to our common slots. Alright, so we have Daredevil Dragster. It's a 3-mana 4-4. Four, four. At the end of combat, if a Daredevil uh, Dragster attacked or blocked this combat, put a Velocity Counter on it. Then, if it has two or more Velocity Counters on it, sacrifice it and draw two cards. It's a crew, so it's a vehicle. It's crew 2. Um, we have Felidar Guardian. It's a 4-mana, 1-4 Cat Beast, and when Felidar Guardian enters the battlefield, you may exile another target permanent you control. Then, return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control. Alright, and then we have uh, Pacification Ray. It's a 1-mana. This is a really strong card in Limited, I assume. Uh, for an artifact, and it is 2-mana, tap to tap target artifact or creature. And for our rare, we got uh, Aether Geode Miner. It's a 2-mana 3-1. Whenever Aether Geode Miner attacks, you get 2 energy. Pay 2 energy, exile the miner, then return it to the battlefield under its controller's uh, control. So it can basically flash itself, and we got no foils in that pack either. So let's move on to the next booster pack. we got a lot to go through. Hopefully we can start getting some multiples of the uncommon so I don't have to read them all. So we got all these for our commons. This is our first booster box opening by the way so if you guys want to let us know in the comments how we're doing that would be great. Uh, so we have Weldfast Engineer. It's a three mana so it's one colorless, a swamp, and a uh, mountain. For a 3 3 uh, human artificer, and at the beginning of combat on your turn, target artifact creature you control gets plus 2 plus 0 oh, until the end of turn. So, pretty good. And we have Enraged Giant again, and we have Reverse Engineer again, and for our rare, we have a Johnny the Unyielding. Nice! So, it is a 6 mana planeswalker, it's 4 green and a white. For a 4 loyalty counter planeswalker, and it is, uh, let's see, plus 2 to reveal the top 3 cards of your library, put all non-land permanent cards revealed that way into your hand, and the rest at the bottom of your library in any order. Uh, minus 2, exile target creature, its controller gains life equal to its power, so it's kind of like a swords, and then with the minus 9, it is put 5 1-1 one, one counters on each creature you control and five loyalty counters on each planeswalker you control. So that seems pretty sweet. So that's our first mythic rare out of the box. And we have a foil mythic rare, mechanized production. So it is enchantment aura, uh, enchant artifact you control. At the beginning of your upkeep, create a token that's a copy of an enchanted artifact. Then if you control eight or more artifacts with the same name as one other, you win the game. This was a crazy pack. So, that's awesome. Uh, so yeah, I actually think this card is really good and limited um, if you just play it on any artifact and basically have your opponent scrambling to destroy all of them, especially if you get it on like a, a non-vehicle just because then it keeps making more and more and more of them. So that's pretty sweet, man. So we got those two in one pack. That's awesome. So let's go ahead and move on. Uh, let's go ahead and let's put these to the side. And let's move on.
All right, so I've got a Dawn Feather Eagle. It's a five mana, uh, three three flying. When Dawn Feather Eagle enters the battlefield, creatures you control get plus one plus one and gain vigilance until the end of turn. Seems a pretty good limited card. So let's just go through these very quickly. Sorry, I had to move those cards to the side so I don't forget them at the end of the video. I'm gonna make a little row of sweet cards that we pulled out of this. So our first uncommon is an Outland Boar. It's four mana for a 4-4. Four, four. Outland Boar can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less. It seems really good and limited. Uh, could be standard played. Uh, it doesn't really have anything to do with the energy deck, so probably not. The Ironclad Revolutionary is our second mythic. It is a four and two black, so six mana for a four four, and it's an Aetherborn Artificer. And when Ironclad Revolutionary enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice an artifact. An artifact. If you do, put two one one counters on Ironclad Revolutionary, and each opponent loses two life. So pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if it has that much playability, but seems good. And uh, Illusionist Stratagem. Uh, it is a 4 mana instant and exile up to 2 target creatures you control and then return those cards to the battlefield under the owner's control and then draw cards. So if they use removal enchantments that would be a really good card. And then for our rare we have Aether Sphere Harvester. This was the card that kind of took it home in the pre-release. It is a uh, 3 mana 3-5 three, artifact vehicle with flying. And when Aether Sphere Harvester enters the battlefield, you get two energy. Pay one energy, and Aether Sphere Harvester gains lifelink until the end of turn, and the crew's only one, so that card is actually really insane. And no foil in this pack, so we'll just go ahead and move on to the next one. Alright. Trying to stay a little organized here. Uh, not going to set the place too hard. Because we just went through cleaning it all today to get this set up. Uh, Dicious Infiltrator for our first common, it is a 2 mana 3 1, and a Dicious Infiltrator can't be blocked by artifact creatures. Pretty good 2 drop. Uh, it's basically a 3 1 uh, 2 drop with an ability that's uh, plus, so pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and get to our uncommons. Cogwork Assembler. It's a 3 mana 2 3 uh, artifact creature, and it has pace 7, create a token that's a copy of target artifact. And that token gains haste. Exile it at the beginning of your next end step. So it's good when you run out of things to do in the game. And then we have Fatal Push. Destroy target creature if it has uh, converted mana cost 2 or less. It's really good. Because the revolt is destroy that creature if it has converted mana cost four or less. Instead of the permanent you controlled, uh, or pardon me, instead if the permanent you control left the battlefield this turn. So really good instant in this set. I think that this is modern playable, um, and it is just a really really strong removal. Sorry, that was out of focus there. Uh, cutting the card off. And for the rare we have oh sorry another uncommon. So we have Pima Aether Seer, and it's a creature elf druid. It is a 3-2 for 4 mana, and when uh, Pima Aether Seer enters the battlefield, you get an amount of energy equal to the greatest power among creatures you control. Pay 3, target creature blocks this turn if able. So, pretty good. And for the rare, we have Rishkar's Expertise. So it's a sorcery for 6 mana, draw cards equal to the greatest power among creatures you control. You may cast cards with converted mana cost 5 or less, uh, from your hand without paying its mana cost. So that card seems pretty sweet if you have a full hand. And nothing as far as a foil on this pack. So we're going to move on. We still have a lot of packs to go through. I think I'm just going to skip to the rares now. I think you've got a good taste for the commons and uncommons as far as going through them. So let's go ahead and just go through. <coughs> We have Death Dismissal. I will talk about this one. This one is a pretty good card. It is a 4 mana instant. Death Dismissal deals 3 damage divided as you choose among 1, 2, or 3 target attacking or blocking creatures. So a pretty good instant to uh, kind of wreck somebody's turn if they're swinging at you. And then uh, we have a Renegade Wheelsmith. It's a 3 mana 3-2. Three, Whenever Renegade Wheelsmith becomes tapped, target creature can't block this turn. So it's a really good attacker. 
And then we have Hungry Flames. These were all new uh, uncommon, so I'll go through them. And it's a Hungry Flames, a three mana instant. Hungry Flames deals three damage to a target creature and two damage to target player. So pretty good removal uh, and damage to the face. And for our rare, we have uh, Spire of Industry. So it's a land, and you tap it to add a colorless to your mana pool. Or you tap it, pay one life, and add one mana of any color. Uh, to your mana pool activate this ability only if you control an artifact so this land's pretty sweet and no foil in this pack so let's go ahead and move on yeah i think that that card is going to be that land card is really good um, as far as doing a multicolor artifact deck all right so let's go ahead and just skip through to the uncommons here got a foil in this pack i got a little bit of a sneak peek there so we have Gonti's Machine... I'm not even sure how to say that. I'm not even going to try. So we have that card again. We have uh, Narnam Renegade. And then we have Maverick. Uh, sorry, it's not... I'm focusing here. Alright. Just trying to see if it'll get in focus. All right, so we have uh, Maverick Thought Terrorist, and it's a 5 mana 2-2 two -two with Improvise, and when Maverick Thought Terrorist enters the battlefield, create two 1-1 one -one colorless Thought Terror Artifact uh, creature tokens with flying. And our rare is Quicksmith Rebel, it's a 4 mana 3-2. When Quicksmith Rebel enters the battlefield, target artifact uh, you control gains tap this artifact deal two damage to target creature or player for as long as you control quicksmith rebel it's pretty good and for our foil we got uh life craft awakening it is a uncommon uh one and x so x and one so it's a green uh put x one one counters on target artifact you control if it isn't a creature or vehicle, it becomes a zero zero construct artifact creature. That's pretty sweet. And we're gonna go ahead and move on here. Yeah, we're going through way too slow. I think this is gonna we're gonna have to go through and just skip all the commons and just show you the artifacts. Because we need to get through this within fifteen minutes, so so we can post it up on YouTube. For you guys to enjoy. So we have Pia's Revolution. It's a three mana enchantment. Whenever a non token artifact is put into your graveyard from the battlefield, return that card to your hand unless the target opponent has Pia Revolution deals three damage to him or her. Uh, sorry, I think I read that wrong. Uh, to your hand unless target opponent has Pia Revolution deal three damage to him or her. So, pretty sweet, and no foil in that pack, so let's go ahead and move on. Man, that third pack in, I think, or fourth pack in, was insane. A Johnny and a uh, Mechanized Production, so pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and just skip to the uncommon so you can take a quick peek at them. So, Ravenous Intruder, Trophy Mage, uh, Pima Aether Seer, and we have... Sram's Expertise. Expertise uh, is a 4 mana, create 3 1 1 colorless servo artifact creature tokens. It's a sorcery, and you may cast this card with converted mana cost 3 or less from your hand without paying. Sorry, you may cast a card with converted mana cost 3 or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. So, pretty good, actually. And we have a foil implement of examination pretty sweet and nothing else in there so let's go ahead and move along yeah, that pack was awesome two mythics in one pack feels good man all right so we have ravenous intruder we have winkin raiders uh, we have aerial modification and we have Greenbelt Rampager. It's a 1 mana 3 4. When Greenbelt Rampager enters the battlefield, pay 2 energy. 
If you can't, return Green Belt Rampager into its owner's hand, and you get one energy, so you can start feeding itself to make it possible to play it, or if you have it, you can just play it. It's a pretty good card, actually. I think it's really strong. And no foil in that pack, so we'll move on. We'll put that in the pile of good stuff. I like that card. Alright, so we'll just skip through the comments here. Alright, so we got, uh, we got Winding Constrictor. So pretty sweet. And Barricade Breaker. And Fatal Push. Another awesome Fatal Push. And for our rare, we have Kari Zev, Skyship Raider. It's a 2-mana 1-3, and it has First Strike, Menace, and when Kari Zev, Skyship Raider, attacks, create a legendary 2-1 Red Monkey creature token named, sorry, uh, Ragavan that's tapped and attacking. Exile that token at the end of combat. So, pretty sweet. Um... It's going to be a sweet looking token, hopefully we get one of those. And then no foil in this pack, uh, we did not get the token, I'll be looking for that now though, because that sounds awesome, it's a legendary. Okay. And we're just going to remove these here, and then look at the token, nothing there, and then the land, and then we'll go ahead and look through these, so this is Hidden Herbalists. Uh, Renegade Rallier. Seems like a good card. I'm not going to read through it right now. Hungry Flames. And then we have a Release the Gremlins. It's a double X in red sorcery. Destroy X target artifacts. Create X22 two two red. Gr oh, sorry. It's a Gremlin. Okay, yeah. Gremlin creature tokens. So pretty sweet. And we're going to go ahead and put that in our pile. Crack another pack. We're about halfway through this. So it's going to be a kind of a long video. I'm going to try and go a little faster. So we have Rogue Refiner. We have Life Crafter's Gift. And we have Maverick Thir uh, sorry, Thopterist. And for our rare, we have Yeheni Undying Partisan. So it's a really good card. It's a 3-mana 2-2 two -two with haste. Uh, it's a legendary creature. It's an Aetherborn Vampire. And whenever a creature an opponent control dies, put a 1-1 one -one counter on Yeheni uh, Unyielding Partisan and sacrifice another creature, Yeheni gains indestructible until the end of turn. So that's pretty sweet. And nothing in there. And it's a servo token. I always wondered why like the Star Wars game never did well. Like it was so popular for such a long time. Before I can open this pack, and then we're gonna skip all these comments. I think we have a foil in this pack if I'm correct. No we don't. Okay. Alright, so we got uh, Treasure Keeper. Pretty sweet card. And we have Winkin Raiders. Aerial modification. And for our rare, we have Call for Unity. It is a five mana enchantment. Revolt. At the beginning of your end step, if a permanent you control left the battlefield this turn, put Unity counter. Put a Unity counter on Call for Unity. Creatures you control get plus one plus one for each Unity counter on Call for Unity. So pretty sweet rare. Uh, limited, it'll be fun. And then nothing in that pack for foil. Alright, so we definitely have a foil in this pack. I can feel how many cards are left, and we have five there, so. So we have Shielded Aether Thief. We have Restoration Specialist. We have Siege Modification, and for our rare we have Barrel Chief of Compliance, it's a 2 mana 1-3, it's a human wizard, it's a legendary, and uh, instant or sorcery spells you cast cost 1 less, whenever a spell or ability you control counters a spell you may draw a card, if you do discard a card, so a good filtering card, rare. Uh, pretty good, and for our foil, we have a Watchful yeah, well, Automaton. It's a 3 mana 2-2, two, two, and uh, it has, it's a 3 mana and scry 1, so, for a blue, uh, so that's useful in a blue deck. It's pretty sweet. Moving on to our next pack. Alright, so we have those cards, uh, Spire Patrol. And we have Tezzeret the Schemer. It's a 4 mana, 5 uh, loyalty counter uh, planeswalker. 
And for the abilities, I'm just going to zoom in here so you guys can read that. It is create a colorless artifact token named Ethereum cell with tap, sacrifice this artifact, add one mana of any color to your mana pool. It's, and that's its plus one. It's minus two. Is target creature gets plus X minus X until the end of turn where X is the number of artifacts you control. And for the minus seven, it's you get an emblem with at the beginning of your combat on your turn, target artifact you control becomes an artifact creature with base power, base uh, power and toughness five five. So pretty sweet planeswalker. That's awesome. So we got both of the planeswalkers in this uh, in this booster box. So that's pretty sweet. Maybe it'll come with a foil mythic in the back too. So nope, just a land uh, and a token. So that's pretty sweet. We are we're in uh, three mythics now, but only two of the mythic slots. So possible to open up a few more. And hopefully, I mean, we crack this box and get one of them awesome uh, inventions. That would be sweet. So let's go ahead and skip through here. So we have Invigorated Rampage for the first uncommon. We have Lifecraft Awakening. We have Spire Patrol again. Uh, it's a pretty sweet card, especially in Limited. And we have Heroic Intervention. It's a two mana instant permanent you control with uh, gain hexproof and indestructible until the end of turn. So it's just the all winner, unless they obviously do. Uh, do something else before it resolves and no foil but that card is pretty sweet i could see that being played as a protection in green right. we have deft dismissal deft dismissal uh we have ornithopter so reprint and we have vengeful rebel it's a 3 mana 3 2 with revolt, uh, with an ability of revolt. And for our rare, we have Aether Tide Whale. It's a 6 mana whale, 6 4, and it has flying, because whales can fly now. Uh, when Aether Tide Whale enters the battlefield, you get 6 energy. Sorry, I had to count that up. Um, and you can pay 4 to return Aether Tide Whale to its owner's hand. So pretty good if you need to bounce it back and make it live. It protects itself. So uh, yeah, it's Aether Tide Whale for you. And for our foil, we have a Narnam Renegade. It's uh, the one mana, one two with death touch and a revolt ability. So pretty sweet. And let's move on to the next bet. We have about, let's go ahead and just pull these out. So we can get the box out of the way, right? Okay, uh, good healthy stack of packs left. Let's go ahead and go through this. Let's go through them nice and quick. Alright, so we have a uh, Foundry Hornet. If that'll z focus. Alright, so I guess it's not going to focus. Hopefully it focuses after that. There you go. Thopter Arrest. And a Servo Schematic. And then for our rare we have a Solemn Recruit. It's a 3 mana 2-2 two, two, double strike. Revolt. At the beginning of your end step, if a permanent you control left the battlefield this turn, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Solemn Recruit. So pretty sweet, actually. And nothing else in that pack. So we'll just go ahead and move on. Put these, put these babies down here for the stream to look at. All nice and pretty. And then these guys are on the side here. Things that I think are good. Pretty awesome. Uh, obviously not as good as opening up one of the better inventions, but still good. Alright, so we have Shielded Aether Thief for the Uncommon, we have Ironclad Revolutionary, and we have Pearless Predicament. And for the Rare, we have a Quicksmith Spy, it's a 4 mana 2-3. When Quicksmith Spy enters the battlefield, target artifact you control gains tap to draw a card for as long as you control Quicksmith Spy. 
So it's a pretty good card. And for our foil, we have Gremlin Infestation. It's a 4-mana enchantment aura and enchant artifact. At the beginning of your end step, Gremlin uh, Infestation deals 2 damage to Enchanted Artifact's controller. When Enchanted Artifact is put into the graveyard, create a 2-2 red Gremlin creature token. So, pretty sweet. And that is it for that pack. Putting it down slowly. So we have Weldfast Engineer. We have Cog Worker Assembler. Cog Work Assembler, sorry. And Hidden Stockpile. And for our rare, we have Secret Salvage. It's a 5 mana sorcery. Exile target non-land card from your graveyard and search the library for any number of cards with the same name as that card. Reveal them and put them into your hand, then shuffle your library. So pretty good way to search for all the other copies that you need, and nothing else there. Let's see if it came with the token there. Nope, no monkey token. So sad. I need the monkey token. It looks so beautiful. We got a foil in this pack. Um, so we have R not Admiral. We have Reverse Engineer. We have uh, Felidar Guardian. And for our rare, we have Were of Invention. It's a three man, or it's an X and three blue uh, instant, and it's improvised, so your artifacts can help uh, to cast the spell by tapping them for one mana. And search your library for an artifact card with converted mana cost X or less. Put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. So pretty sweet. And nothing as far as a foil goes. And we just got a servo token. Still looking for that beautiful monkey. Alright. And we have Hinterland Drake. It's a 3 mana 3-2 three, flying. Uh, Hinterland Drake can't be can't block artifact creatures. I think it's a really good limited card. Uh, just three mana, two, three flyers are always good. Uh, usually, no matter what the downfall is on them. So a rogue refiner. This one's actually pretty good. It is a two color though, so you'd have to be going the specific colors. But it is one green and a blue. It's a creature. It's a human rogue for a th three two. Sorry. And when rogue refiner enters the battlefield, draw a card, and you get two energy. So pretty strong. Um, and then we have Scrap Champion, Thopter Arrest, and we have Sram's Expertise. Uh, so this one is a sorcery for 4 mana. It creates 3 one, one servo artifact creature tokens. And you may cast a card with converted mana cost 3 or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. So pretty sweet. We got one of those already, I think. And nothing else in that pack. So we're getting down to about 10 packs now. So we have Hidden Herbalists for the first uncommon. We have Renegade Rallier. We have Vengeful Rebel. And for our rare, we have Dark Imitation. Uh, sorry, in, in tim, Intimations. Sorry about that. And it's a sorcery. Uh, it's a five, five minutes of blue. It's Grixis colors. So it's a blue, black, and red. And each opponent sacrifices a creature or planeswalker, then discards a card. You return a creature or planeswalker card from your graveyard to your hand, then draw a card. When you cast a Bolus planeswalker spell, exile dark imitations from your graveyard, then that planeswalker enters the battlefield with an additional loyalty counter on it. So pretty fun for uh, Nick Bolus there. And nothing else in that pack. Uh, we got a gremlin for the token. Skip through the commons there. So, Life Crafter's Gift and Monstrous Onslaught. Pretty sweet. And Tezzeret's Touch. And then for the rare, we have Disallow. This is a sweet counter spell. It's a three mana instant counter target spell, activated abilities, or triggered ability. So, uh, yeah, mana abilities can't be targeted, obviously, but Disallow is sweet. And we're gonna go ahead and look down. Oh, we have Ethereum Cell, so that's pretty sweet. That's for the uh, for the good old Tezzer right there. You just sit on that.
All right, so we're moving on to the next pack. Uh, let's go to the uncommons. Just trying to get it to focus here. Hopefully if I move a card, it'll uh, focus again. There we go. So we have a Salvage Scuttler for our first uncommon. We have a Consulent Dreadnought for the second one. And for the third one, we have a Reckless Racer. Uh, we've already seen that one. And as far as our rare goes, we got a Life Crafters... Uh, Bestiary. It's a three mana artifact. At the beginning of your upkeep, scry one, and whenever you cast a creature spell, you may pay one green uh, if you do draw a card. So, pretty sweet card, and no foil on that pack. We've got a servo token. We're going down to our eighth pack here. So, our eighth to last. Uh, we're going to go ahead and skip through the commons again, since we're trying to get through all of this in about 15 minutes. It's uh, Ornithopter. It's uh, Obviously, we've already seen that before. That's a reprint. And then we have uh, Gifted Aetherborn. And then we have Pacification Ray. Again, a really strong limited card. And for our rare, we have a Scrap Trawler. It's a 3-mana, three 3-2. Three, Whenever Scrap Trawler enter, uh, or another artifact you control is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, return... Return to your hand target artifact card in your graveyard with lesser converted mana cost. So pretty sweet card, and we got a foil lamp, so that's pretty sweet. And we got an emblem for Tezzeret as well, so he's kind of complete. Um, we got everything we need for him. Pretty beautiful art, actually, for the foil rare. I mean, for the foil planes. Looks awesome. So we're just going through. Got a few more packs here. That is backwards. Alright, so we got Trophy Mage. We got Consulate Dreadnought. We have a Perilous uh, Predicament. And for our rare, we have Rishkar Pima. Renegade. It is a 3-mana 2-2 two, two legendary creature. It's an elf druid. And when Rickshar Pima enters, or Renegade, enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 one, one counter on each of up to two target creatures. Each creature you control with a counter on it has tap, add a forest to your mana pool. And nothing as far as foils. We've got an energy token. Focus. So we have a Skyship Plunderer. We have an Illusionist Stratagem. We have a Barricade Breaker. And for our rare, we have Kari Zev's Expertise. I think we already pulled this. No, I don't actually think we did. So it's a three mana. It's double red and one colorless. It's a sorcery. Gain control of target creature or vehicle until the end of turn. Untap it. It gains haste until the end of your turn. You may cast a card with converted mana cost two or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. So it'd be pretty sweet with a two, uh, two mana haster, right? And then nothing for the foil. And then we just got a token card there. I mean, no, no token. Just an advertisement card. All right. We're just going to skip through all the comments here. So we got uh, the Outland Boar again. We got the Gremlins infestation again and we got the siege modification it's a three mana enchantment and then for our rare we have peace walker colossus so it's a three mana six six uh you pay two it's colorless and a white uh enter target or another target vehicle you control becomes an artifact creature until the end of turn and it's crew for four so it's a pretty sweet card, pretty big bomb, and nothing as far as a foil goes, and we just got a servo token again. So we got four packs left. So we'll just be skipping through the commons. We have Deadeye Harpooner, Untethered Express, and Efficient Construction. And for our rare, we have a Midnight an Entourage? Entourage? Not sure how to say that. So it is a 4 mana. It's uh, 2 colorless and double black for a 3-3. Three, three. It's an Ethereum Born Rogue. Uh, other Ethereum Born... Or, pardon me, Ethereum. I'm sorry about that. It's an Aetherborn. 
rogue. Uh, other Aetherborn, you control get plus one, plus one, and whenever Midnight Entourage or another Aetherborn you control dies, you draw a card and lose one life. So it's a pretty sweet card. Actually, I could see that being very strong, especially if you build around it. Aether Poisoner, uh, it's a 2 mana 1-1 one, one death touch, it's foil. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you get 2 energy, and whenever it attacks, you may pay 2. If you do, you create a 1-1 one, one colorless servo artifact creature token. So really good if you're uh, um, using cards with that ability that you have to tap to uh, play them. So pretty sweet, we just got a Thopter. No monkeys so far, so sad. That's all I care about. I just want the, I just want the legendary token monkey. All right, another dawn feather, really strong. And limited, a ravenous intruder, a servo schematic, a airdrop aronauts. For it's a five mana, four three flyer. It has revolt. When it enters the battlefield, if it permanently control left the battlefield this turn, you gain some life. So pretty good card there. And for our rare, ooh, we have a Planar Bridge. It's a six mana legendary artifact. And you pay eight, tap, search your library for a permanent card, put that into the battlefield, and shuffle your library. So there's some sweet things that you can do with that. It's an awesome card, and I'll go ahead and, oh my gosh, we got a Spire of Industry Foil. So it's adding a colorless mana to your pool. Uh, and obviously you pay one life, add a mana of any color to your mana pool, activate this ability only if you control an artifact. Th that is pretty sweet, and it looks awesome for you. Look at that. Beautiful. So, been pretty lucky with our pulls here, uh, as far as foils go. We have some pretty sweet foils. A foil Mythic and a Foil Rare to land, so not doing too bad. So we have Restoration Specialist, we have Treasure Keeper, we have Ridge Scale Tusker, it's uh, the bear, uh, the bomb that I was talking about, it's going to be a pretty sweet bomb for green. And for the rare, we have a 4 mana, it's a uh, Yeni's Expertise, it's a 4 mana sorcery, and it's all creatures get minus 3, minus 3 until the end of turn. You may cast a card with converted mana cost 3 or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. This card is insane. I think this is going to be a standard staple for black, so it's going to be really strong. And no foil in this pack. Oh my gosh, we got the monkey. We got the monkey, and this was the second to last pack. So we have uh, Ragavan, the token. It's a legendary creature monkey, a 2-1, and it looks very cute. Oh my. Oh my, oh my. So let's go ahead and uh, just put that on top of everything there. It's going to be the, the main treasure of today. And the only thing that would make it better is by opening up a invention. But I'm not going to place any bets on it. So let's go ahead and just skip through to the uncommon slot. We'll read these ones out if we haven't seen them before. So we have a Scrapper Champion, I don't think I read through this one, it's a 4 mana Human Artificer, it's a 2-2, two -two. it's with Double Strike, and when it enters the battlefield you get 2 energy, and whenever he attacks you may pay 2 energy if you do put a 1-1 counter on him. So pretty strong uh, Uncommon, in the Uncommon slot. Uh, so pretty good. And then we have Skyship Plunderer, uh, we, I think we already went through this one, it's a flyer and it has an ability. Uh, where whenever it deals combat damage, um, you give a permanent another counter uh, that it has. And then we have Enraged Giant, already read through that one. And for our last rare, we have a Baral's Expertise, 5 mana sorcery, we already read through that one. Return up to 3, or no we haven't, sorry. Uh, yeah, so it's return up to three target artifacts or creatures to their owner's hand. You may cast a card with converted mana cost four or less uh, from your hand without paying its mana cost. So pretty awesome last rare. And no foil. And we have another Ethereum sale for uh, Tezzeret there. So looking pretty, da looking pretty uh, dandy there. All right, so let's just go through all of these. All the beautiful cards here. Uh, I guess we'll remove those. And we'll definitely, definitely, definitely put him on top. So we have Ragvan, the legendary creature monkey. And we have a Tezzeret. We have his emblem, which was pretty sweet. We have a Planar Bridge, which looks awesome. We have a Johnny Unyielding. We have a Spire of Industry Foil. 
and then we have a mechanized production foil. So pretty sweet booster.